Hello, and welcome back to the EU Salt Mine. I am your host, Brian. Another thing returns to normal today, we get to see boost used statistics again, yay. Who missed them? Before the series, let me say thank you to our sponsor, Manscaped. They contributed half the prize pool, the other half was given very generously and very anonymously. Astral is back for his third series in the mine, and so far he has one win and one loss. A win today could see him challenge for the top of the table. Flakes is also looking for his second win, and it being just his second series in the mine a win would see him on a comfortable streak. I think this is yet another much anticipated match, I hope it meets your expectations. I hope the casting does too, it's the usual guy. Flakes back in the ripper against Astral. Both players with a win currently in the standings, but this is only Flakes' second game. Azrael's already played two. And now that he's got his boogeyman O'Khalid over and done with, looking to get the win streak going. Real clash of playstyles today. Azrael, relentless mechanical offense against Flakes' calculated playstyle. Perhaps the best defensive player in the league. Remains to be seen how everything will pan out. That's not to say that he doesn't have good offense as well. It's just that most of the time he doesn't have to use it because he wins games purely with counter-attacking play style. OSM couldn't stop him. Astral's going to try. This is a good opportunity for 2-0. Astral from this range is deadly. Ceiling shot. Double touch into the bar both times. Flakes was just waiting on the goal line, hoping to get a freebie. But hold on a second. Flakes has missed the ball. That's going to be 2-0 for Astral. It's just panic in defense for Flakes. Multiple times there, Astral had him beaten. And he couldn't really control himself or the ball at any stage. So far, so good for Astral. Beating everybody apart from O'Khalid since he started playing 1v1 show matches. He's looking unbelievably on point at the moment. This is crazy stuff from Astral. He's hit the bar three times, though. Flakes is still within two goals. Struggling to control the possession, though, is Flakes. Astral has had some good control over his play so far. Not taking too many risks. He's going for the pinch shot here. That's going to go too high. Flakes would not have been there for it if it was fast and on target. Astral, risky save attempt. Flakes puts it bottom right, but Astral is recovered and saves it. And that's 3-0. It's too good from Astral. Flakes saw him lunging off the crossbar. But actually, Astral recovered pretty quickly. He didn't dive in towards the ball. He just jumped down, back to the ground. Got into position a second time. Now, Astral making it 4-0 if he can score here. He's looked almost unstoppable in offense today. Only the crossbar able to stop him, but the crossbar is going to stop him again, and this time Flakes will score on the counter. Now this is what Flakes needs to keep doing, because there have been quite a few times this game where Azrael's hit the bar, and Flakes hasn't been able to react and score that counter-attacking goal before Azrael is in his half and ready to defend it. First one goes in. Now Flakes with an opportunity to make a flip reset play of his own. Just goes for the direct air dribble, and that's... Not going to work out against Azrael, who was positioned on the goal line. That's a big risk for Flakes, and he's going to get punished on the counter. I'm surprised that he didn't go for a flip reset here, because the air dribble looked to be going straight into Azrael, who was on the goal line waiting for it. Would have been a very, very difficult shot, even with the flip reset for Flakes, but he is proficient with them. And Azrael's kickoff is doing some real work in game one, and now he's ahead 5-1. A lot to be done for Flakes. I do wonder if he'll stick with the Ripper all the way through this tournament. Having some good success with it recently. What a save. Another save for Flakes. Subdues Astral. But for how long? Astral once again into offense. And although Flakes is getting saves here, none of the saves are good enough to clear the ball. Astral's got non-stop opportunities. Double touched into the bar. Again, crossbar doing some work for Flakes, but... He just doesn't have the boost to do anything with it. Quick challenge from Astral. Pre-flip interception as well. Look at that power slide in the landing. All that momentum being maintained. This is the sort of efficiency that you expect to see with Astral in the field. 
Nice interception there by Flakes. He's disrupted Astral in his approach, but it doesn't matter because Astral's retaking control anyway. And that's just insane. Astral had his setup messed with, but he didn't mind. He just takes the ball anyway. Flip reset and the shot on target. And that is a five goal difference. Flakes taking quite a beating here. Astral even slowing down his kickoff this time, trying to experiment it would seem, but that's not worked out too well. Flakes with a power shot, back within four. Still a good chance for Flakes if he can continue to win kickoffs. Hasn't gone too well for him in that department so far today though, and it's not gonna go too well here. Astral with another offensive play from the halfway line. Wave dash, Flake doesn't connect. Look at the recovery though from Azrael. He just lunges off the bar and into position. And he's threatening another wall shot. Flake, so the nice interception. That's wide open for him. He can take his time here, but he's hit the post and it's gonna bounce up as well. Oh no, Flakes had so much time on his hands, but he fancied his chances on that bounce and it did not work out. That's a huge missed opportunity for him. Astral might not give him an easier shot than that for the rest of the game. Only a minute and change left. Flakes off target again. This shot was more difficult, but Astral's also missed it, and Flakes, third time lucky, puts one on target, and he's still got an opportunity here to make it interesting at the end of the game. Misplay by Astral in defense. He got a bit too quickly into position and flew in front of the ball. Astral, a kickoff goal, though, again. Gonna make it four goals. Flakes kickoff just hasn't been good enough so far today. Just not hitting the ball as hard as Azrael is, it would seem. Getting muscled out of the way. You know, actually losing the kickoff like this is probably better than the last one he just did. Azrael, looking for the turtle catch. He's actually gone around Flakes. Even after the initial play didn't pan out the way he was hoping. That's unreal from Azrael. Look at the power slide control after the catch while turtling. It's a play that Flakes popularized himself, and now it's just worked against him. What can you do against such reckless play? Well, Flakes with a mind game. Pulls one goal back. But does he have a realistic comeback opportunity here? I wonder if that mind game is worth going for. Now Azrael is thinking more about that, so it's less likely to work again in a more meaningful situation. Azrael with his kickoff working out as well as it has today. Really not looking likely to concede four goals in 40 seconds. Flakes has a chance here. Wave dash, sends the ball to the left. Flakes with a chip shot on target, but Astral's always gonna read that backboard bounce, not likely to miss that one. Ceiling challenge coming in from Astral. He has got a dodge here. Flakes with a flip reset, solo shot on target, and Astral is back for the save. That confirms game one for Astral if it wasn't already confirmed. He's played a blinder here. Non-stop aggression. Flakes couldn't handle it. But Flakes needs to, first and foremost, come up with a different kickoff strategy because he's lost the majority in game one. Unless he can fix that, it could be a quick series in favor of Astral. Astral takes the lead after one game today, again, like he did against Fairy. This win was a very convincing one too. If Flakes wins the next game I might start to suspect that we sent these players the wrong scripts. Still the Ripper, the weapon of choice for Flakes. He does start off with a much improved kickoff compared to last game and he's caught Azrael out of position in defense as well. And that is exactly what we were asking Flakes to do in game one. Let's mix things up a little bit, try and get an outplay on Astral. Right from the kickoff, because it doesn't look like a position where you can outplay people, but it absolutely is. Huge misunderstanding of many Rocket League players and fans. Kickoffs are pure luck. At this level, they are everything. One of the most important aspects of the game, take off and reverse from Astral, saved by Flakes. Astral still recovering fast as you like to keep the pressure up. Flakes doesn't have too much boost here. Gonna have to use most of it to accelerate, but Azrael's miles out of position. Where did he go? Leaving his net completely open. Oh, Azrael drove around the boost. That's what happened. So, Flakes getting another goal. Early start for the veteran player. It's crazy to think the Flakes is a veteran. What a quick rise 
to the top of Rocket League competitive he had. Still looking to get back into RLCS next season with his current team complexity. But he doesn't have a way to stop Astral's dribbles in game two. The quick turns are was doing it for Astral there and just nicking the ball with the front of the car in the side flip is all he needed to do to get it past Flakes, who was trying to challenge early. Now, Flakes is going to need to continue challenging early, even though it doesn't work all the time. He needs to keep Astral guessing, because if, I, if he just backs off every single time, Astral's got just way too good offense from close range for Flakes to have any chance. So speaking of offense from close range, Flakes puts in a third goal, and it's Astral who gives him all the space to dribble with. Astral turning just a bit too slow here. If he had jumped earlier, he would have made contact with that ball. Maybe didn't see the hook shot coming. Felt Flakes would go for another low 50-50 or a mind game. That's why it's important as well if Flakes keeps on changing his strategy on offense. And he's got Astral out of position again. 4-1 for Flakes. Already a much improved game compared to the last one. What is Astral going to do to respond? We've seen some pretty ridiculous comebacks from him in the past. And with how much kickoff success he's had today, I wouldn't be surprised to see him come back from three goals down. But he's going to have to come back from four goals down now because Flakes has put in another one. And Astral once again, out of position getting boost when he really should be paying more attention to the ball. Three minutes left. Long time for Flakes to hold on to a lead. He knows how to do it. He just has to defend the time waste and wait for the opportunities to arrive. Oh my goodness, Astral with an outrageous air roll shot. Flakes cannot have expected that one to go so quickly to the left-hand side of the goal. That is an unbelievable strike from Astral. Not often you see a full volley in a top 10 goal of the week clip or even a top 10 goal of the tournament. But honestly, that was so impressive to generate that much power at such an angle. Flakes still ahead by three. Astral keeps him out. That's it challenge early if he can here. 20 boosts to his name. That's enough for Astral to make a play. Flakes doesn't get mind games. Even half flips through the ball. Astral building up and building up here on boost. He tries to demo Flakes and Flakes didn't see it coming. Now Astral might go for the fast shot here. Yes he will and even though it's not gone into the far side away from Flakes spawn, it's still fast enough to reach the target. Flakes needs to be more careful. He's caught out of position there by Astral with the demo. Maybe he didn't think Astral had the boost to reach Supersonic. And that's usually not an issue for Astral with all of his wave dash mechanics and multiple dodges and clean landings. He does not have too much of an issue speeding up and then staying fast once he gets Supersonic. Astral thinking about a wall shot. Just fakes it. Flakes. Still the two goal lead here. And there's the early challenge that we talked about. Astral not able to see that one coming. And there's a nice control Shot from Flakes, anticipating the high challenge of Astral, putting it underneath him. But it's the defense of Flakes that's keeping him in this game. Not always backing off into goal like we know he prefers to do in some matchups. I just don't think he feels comfortable defending against Astral's offense from a shadowing position. That's a brilliant recovery by Flakes. Into the air he goes. No third touch on the air dribble, but the boost seal is coming in. And Astral doesn't have a lot to play with here. In fact, he had absolutely none. Now he has 12. Flakes lines up the shot and puts it bottom left with a whole bunch of power as well. Both players shooting well in game two, but Flakes, seven goals to three, holding on to that lead despite the fact that Astral has scored multiple goals. Another boost missed for Astral, second one of the game. Flakes could make it. Five goal difference here. He still might go for it. Astral lands well, stays on the ball, stays away from Flakes' demo. He's got to start scoring pretty soon, though. His current rate of goals per minute is not good enough to come back against Flakes today. Not from this kind of deficit. Flakes trying to be cheeky here. He's trying to style on Astral. Of course, Astral will return in kind, but both players fire their shots slowly on target. Now Flakes, the heavy favorite to win the game. Nice turn, nice flick, and a five-goal lead. Astral came in quickly, started to feel like he was running out of time, not scoring enough goals, not enough seconds left on the clock. Flakes had the perfect answer. The early flick, always going to win against 
a challenge at this level. Here comes Astral again. So tricky in his approach. But running out of time, Flakes seems to be ready for a lot more in this game than he was in game one. Good patience by Flakes. He's managed to squeeze this one out of the near post. Azrael again trying to surprise him at the edge of the box. But Flakes is not committing early. He's just waiting for Azrael to be done with the ball before moving in. Here he's just giving it away to him. Azrael, of course, already moving at supersonic in the direction of the ball, as usual. And he's back within four. Flakes needs to just get a hold of the ball one, one more time in this game. Let the clock do the work for him. But that's not getting a hold of the ball. In fact, Astral closes the gap by one more. Now just three and 47 seconds left. Flakes has to play with utmost care. His kickoff has not been winning enough today, but this one does do the trick. He's going to let it bounce in as well. BM from Flakes. He knew the ball was going to reach the goal before Astral reached it. Thank goodness for him. And he was able to fix his kickoff woes because if he had continued as he has been all series long, this would not have ended well for him. In fact, it's going to be another goal for Flakes here. Astral caught out of position going for boost. Of course, he needed the boost if he was going to have any real chance to score on Flakes on the counter-attack. Credit to Flakes. Challenging at very unpredictable times. And keeping Astral guessing has caused Azrael to feel pressured, feel like he doesn't have the time to just wait for the opportunities to come. He overextended multiple times this game. That's what you expect when you've got Flakes in the field. He can always adapt. He can always change up his defensive strategy. He doesn't just sit in goal in every single matchup. He only does that in matchups where it's working out for him. It didn't work out in game one. He changes the plan in game two. Now, He's got the series all tied up. Thank you Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for you, Tourney20, which is a 20% discount for Manscaped purchases. Flakes does take game two, and it's now a best of three. Game three. Real turning point there in the series early on. Flakes fixing a lot of his problems. But he's got a whole new one here. Astral mind game early on. Flakes doesn't seem too bothered by it, even giving us some credit for the fake there. And of course, if any player is going to slow down, catch you off guard, it would be Astral. Because everybody expects him to constantly be going as fast as he can. And that one time that he hits the brakes, you never see it coming. Brilliant control on the goal line there by Astral. Even catching the ball while saving it. Flakes did not expect that to go quite so badly for him. Astral, beautiful shot from close range again. One touch and then the dodge to fire on target against a pre-jumping Flakes. Again, Astral with huge power from hardly any momentum at all. That's the edge that he has over just about any player in the league. He can just get the perfect touch on the ball every single time when you think he can't do enough when you think the angle is impossible he makes it possible the flakes but out of position here did he go for boost on this spawn or maybe he just tried to guess which way he was going to spawn from either way Azrael runs the ball into the near post a bit fortunate for him that flakes didn't spawn right in front of him flakes might have just been turning there and hoping that he would spawn on the right side sometimes that is a play you have to make. Oh, he's getting demoed again here in the corner. Flakes for the third time in the series. Not jumping as Azrael comes in from behind. Did well to prevent the low 50-50 from Azrael. And Azrael, of course, still hunting for what many players would consider the impossible angle shot. 3-0. Make it 3-1. Flakes responds with a perfect flick to the top corner. And Azrael is pretty close to saving this one. Placement here for Flakes, which is too good. Great power as well. Off the bar and in. And to think that even if Azrael did save that, Flakes was ready to pounce on this follow-up shot as well. Flakes might have an opportunity to go for a demo on Azrael there. He's playing for the boost seal instead. Now he can try and make that boost advantage work in his favor. Azrael doesn't have any. He half flips in reverse onto the wall. 
Flix misses his first touch, but he gets the boost seal on spawn again. Now, oh, just about gets the demo on Astral. Well, look at Astral, escapes the demo and comes in for the ceiling shot. And honestly, nobody transitions from a high pressure position into a shot like Astral does. Just the perfect approach, the perfect touch to get the ball into Flake's nightmare position. And a three goal lead for Astral. Very back at four series. Pickoffs seem to be going more evenly for Flakes. That's great news. But he has to be so careful in defense. Astral always coming at him faster than he expects. But this time he does see him coming. And Astral's made to look a bit silly here as he bounces over the ball. Flakes didn't have to do too much <laughs> to win that 50-50. Just a little jump. And that's the threat that Flakes has made Azrael think about. Scoring a flick early on in the game. Obviously, he's got Azrael pretty afl afraid of another flick coming his way, so he threw in the challenge. Too high. Flakes just sat under it. Pre-flip save for Flakes. That's unreal. Does he have the speed to get the goal before Azrael recovers? I think he does. That's brilliantly done by Flakes. Save with a pre-flip. And he forced Azrael to land poorly as well. He's back within one. Two minutes. 44 left. Astral, big kickoff win. Tries for the air roll shot. Flakes is going to save it. There's no way for Astral to seal his boost because his net would have been open. Flakes almost got another goal around him. Playing so calculated at the moment. Flakes trying to keep an eye on Astral's every move. Even when you do keep an eye on him, it's still difficult to stop what he's doing. Flakes trying his best here. He saves another shot. Flip reset for Azrael, and that's just unbelievable. How do you stop this guy? He can't put a foot wrong at times. Unbelievable. He shoots the ball right over Flakes at the near post. Flakes had most of the goal covered there, but the one place he doesn't have covered is where Azrael shoots it from a flip reset in close range. It is actually unreal what this guy can do. In a 1v1 situation against one of the best defenders in the world, he finds the opening every time. Flakes misses his shot. And Astral clean landings as always. Looking to make it 6-3. Low 50-50 blocked by Flakes. Flakes has a great success rate against Astral's low 50-50s today. Might go for the double touch here even though the net is open. Oh no he doesn't. And it doesn't matter because Astral's not going to get back in time. Wouldn't have been surprised to see Flakes going for the double touch here because he's so consistent with them. And there was always a chance that Astral could maybe pinch that off his own crossbar. On the recovery, Flakes read him well, knew when the save was going to be coming in, kept the shot high. Power sliding the wall by Flakes to deny Azrael the ball chase. Azrael's going to keep on chasing it anyway. Flakes under a bit of pressure here. That's not on target yet, but Azrael takes his boost in the corner, tries to make it so. Flakes having to defend for his life in this game. But he is only one goal down here. Azrael giving away the possession quite easily on the last two passes. It's good news for Flakes. He's getting opportunities here with his current playstyle. Wave dash shot saved at the bottom corner by Azrael. Still time for Flakes and he's got an opening here. Azrael just gets in the way of it. Flakes is starting to boost starve him. Can he turn this into a goal? Perfect chip shot. Azrael puts it into his own crossbar and Flakes finishes it. It's that little touch off the wall here. Not an easy touch to make for Flakes, but he caught it perfectly. Astral did not think it was going to be sent on target that quickly. All tied up. Brilliant comeback by Flakes. Early challenge as well. He's recovering as fast as he can. Only 12 boost to defend against an Astral aerial. That's not a lot, but Flakes makes it work. Astral still circling at the edge of the box. He's getting the boost steal on point. Look at that timing. As he flips by and Flakes just can't hold on. He was resilient as we expect from a player like him. But that boost seal was brutal. Flakes would have saved this shot if Astral hadn't got that boost seal timed to absolute perfection. Now Astral thinking about a kickoff goal shot early. He's got no boost. Low 50-50 saved by Flakes again. Astral trying to make an awkward touch here. Deny Flakes the fast counter-attack, but here comes Flakes on the right-hand side of the field. He sees Astral coming. He's tripped him up a little bit. Astral 
Still there for it. That's outrageously impressive by Flakes. Look at the control. Under huge pressure in the final 15 seconds, he flicks the ball over Asher with a half flip and puts it in the open net for six all. He refuses to lose in game three. But Asriel still piling on the pressure. That's another shot on target from the kickoff. And Flakes just cannot catch a break from the center circle. 10 seconds left. He's got it all to do again. How many times will he have to come back in game number three? Asriel might not give him another chance. Five seconds left. All he needs to do is waste the time. And the ball might bounce into the ground here. And yes, it will. Astral confirms the win in game three. He leads two games to one. Poor Flakes. All those fights to draw level and not able to convert any into a lead. Astral stays ahead this game, but Flakes did keep it close. Now Flakes needs two series wins in a row and that is looking very challenging. Asriel still looking fantastic for EU Salt Mine League play, but so is Flakes. Can Flakes shut down Asriel here two games in a row, keep up his unbeaten run? Asriel has had the edge here from the kickoff. That's prevented Flakes from really establishing control this series, but he's bravely gone in for a 50-50 here and comes out successfully. I think Astral is probably caught out of position here. Didn't think that Flakes would charge in like this. It's unlike Flakes to dodge in for challenges this close to the net. Usually a player who prefers to drive away from the ball, let his opponent hit it into him. Great recovery by Flakes here. Astral not going all in for the shot. Gets a boost seal. Always going for these double boost seals, Astral. He starts on one side, takes that boost, moves across, gets the other one as well. But Flakes has outdone him here in terms of efficiency. And that boost in the corner, staying in Flakes' control, is really the problem for Astral. He dodged too far off the wall. Did not land on the boost like he intended. Flakes 2-0 up, 40 seconds in. Astral reversing all the way back into the corner. Flakes posturing for a challenge. There it is. Got to keep uh, Astral guessing like he did in game two. And the shadow defense for Flakes. Coming in clutch again. He's sitting inside the goal, but what can you do from that range against Astral? He really does not never doubt his ability to score. That's something that Astral seems to always have going his way. He just believes, no matter what position he's in, no matter how good of a player he's against. He sees himself scoring. Right before Azrael took that flick, I guarantee you, he visualized himself putting it in the top corner, and that's what's happened. That's why he's such a successful offensive player. Flakes actually catches the ball at the end of his rotation here. Probably accidental. Azrael saved it anyway. Wicked flick by Azrael to the top of the goal. Flakes has a boost advantage here. He's got a good timing on the boost respawn in the midfield. Still keeping Asriel under wraps here in game number four. Flakes 3-1 up, and that's a very similar goal to the second one we saw for Flakes. Asriel trying to dribble the ball back into his own half, but he doesn't hit the ball hard enough. That just gives Flakes the free shot. A rare kickoff win for Flakes. Can he make it 4-1? He's going to try with a flick, but it's straight down the middle at Asriel. Not a bad outcome, though, for Flakes. He can waste a good bit of time here. Try and frustrate Astral, maybe catch him over extending. Does tend to happen more often when Astral's losing by a few goals or more. Feels desperation and starts to go for shots that perhaps he shouldn't. Pinches haven't been on point for Astral today. They've been close, but not close enough. And Flakes is keeping him backed up here with quality shooting. Unlikely to go past the goalkeeper like Astral, but still wasting some time. Now look at the clock. There's almost half the game gone. Flakes still ahead by two goals. That might be about to change. Astral turns quickly, but so does Flakes. Boost seal for Astral. He wants to catch Flakes out of the near post here. Bumps him out of the way. Once again, Astral's ball control is out of this world. Every touch here had to be perfect. There's one. And then he lifts it a couple of times and just squashes Flakes into the goal. Or else Flakes would have had a save on that can never keep him out forever. That's the danger for Flakes. Two goal lead, 
Well, you better be scoring at some point because you can guarantee before the end of the game, Astral is going to score a few times. Still in the lead by one. Flakes waiting for the opening. There it is. He flicks it past Astral, but he has to do it again quickly and he can't get the acceleration he needed. Astral always recovering immediately after missing a challenge. Even flying down into position and now into the air. No bump connecting this time. That's a poor landing for Astral. Rare to see, but it does happen occasionally, and that's going to allow Flakes full boost on the counterattack. His flick is slow. Azrael saves it with relative ease. Plenty boost for Azrael in his next offensive play. He's switching up to air dribble bumps here, but Flakes is retaliating with some brilliant shadow defense. That's a couple now that he's saved. Hanging on to the one goal lead. Top corner. Not the destination of this flick. Instead, it's the crossbar. And Flakes really keep Astral to just two goals in a game. You'd really not expect to see that in any of his matchups against anybody these days. Flakes is keeping the ball in safe locations. Whenever Astral does have it, he's trying to apply maximum pressure. Astral still focusing on air dribbles and now he finds a way through. But not the air dribble bump this time. He goes straight over Flakes for the direct air dribble and see Flakes there. Faking a jump, he wanted Azrael to fly right over his head, missing a bump, and then he could go into the air for the save. Azrael switches things up after two unsuccessful air dribble bumps. Catches Flakes off guard with an air dribble. Now Flakes slammed out the goal by a demo. He spawns right behind the ball, and Azrael's ahead by one. Flakes here just not reading Azrael. That's two plays in a row. Where Astral has surprised him, first with an air dribble, now with a drive-by demo. Flakes was expecting a 50-50, he was happy to sit behind the ball. But Astral had his eyes on the kill, and now he's got his eyes on a two-goal lead. Flakes comes away with it, that's a good power shot, that's for all! Flakes, right back in it. Clinical counter-attack. Great ability to not get faked off that challenge. Flakes needed multiple touches on that 50-50, he got two. That's why he's come away with the ball. He has to be careful here though. Azrael ball chasing. Flakes might not reach that. 5-4. Flakes just did not see this coming. He thought he could reach the boost and beat Azrael to the ball, but it's simply not the case with the ball bouncing in field like that. 33 seconds left. Flakes on the brink of losing a series here. Azrael would go up to two wins in the league if he can continue to play like this. Flakes saves a shot. Crucial. Stop and defense there, but he needs to get control of the ball. And Astral is just not going to give it to him easily. More time being wasted. Now an opportunity for Flakes. He brings it down, but Astral's right there in his face. Flakes still able to garner one more opportunity. Surely he's going to go all in here for some kind of air dribble. He couldn't let that ball drop. He wanted more, one more bounce, but he realized it was going to hit the ground on zero. And that's just going to be the game, Flakes. Not willing to go all in for the air dribble on zero seconds. Loses the series 3-1. to one. Another close game, and another tense game ending, and Astral confirms his win today. For Flakes, all the difference towards the end of the game was in a few miscalculations. Well played to everyone, even to you lot at home. We have a swap in positions today. Astral's not quite perfect win sees him settle in a game win behind Ocalid in a rise to secure second place, for now. Flakes' loss today brings him to a neutral game win loss, with his previous victory putting him in a fourth place tie. Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for Manscaped purchases, to only 20, which will give you a 20% discount. Join us tomorrow, and let me tell you who to expect to play. Ixo and Fairy Peak face off. It's nice to know in advance, isn't it? Thanks for watching today's series. This is the EU Salt Mine, be kind to each other, I am your host, friend, and biggest fan, Brian. Azrael still looking fantastic for EU Salt Mine League play, but so is Flakes. Can Flakes shut down Azrael here two games in a row? Keep up his unbeaten run. Azrael 
has had the edge here from the kickoff. That's prevented Flakes from really establishing control this series, but he's bravely gone in for a 50-50 here and comes out successfully. I think Astral is probably caught out of position here. Didn't think that Flakes would charge in like this. It's unlike Flakes to dodge in for challenges this close to the net. Usually a player who prefers to drive away from the ball, let his opponent hit it into him. Great recovery by Flakes here. Astral not going all in for the shot. Gets a boost seal. Always going for these double boost seals, Astral. He starts on one side, takes that boost, moves across, gets the other one as well. But Flakes has outdone him here in terms of efficiency. And that boost in the corner, staying in Flakes' control, is really the problem for Astral. He dodged too far off the wall. Did not land on the boost like he intended. Flakes 2-0 up. 40 seconds in. Astral reversing all the way back into the corner. Flakes posturing for a challenge. There it is. Got to keep uh, Astral guessing like he did in game two. And the shadow defense for Flakes. Coming in clutch again. He's sitting inside the goal, but what can you do from that range against Astral? He really does not never doubt his ability to score. That's something that Astral seems to always have going his way. He just believes, no matter what position he's in, no matter how good of a player he's against, he sees himself scoring. Right before Azrael took that flick, I guarantee you, he visualized himself putting it in the top corner, and that's what's happened. That's why he's such a successful offensive player. Flakes actually catches the ball at the end of his rotation here, probably accidental. Azrael saved it anyway. Wicked flick by Azrael to the top of the goal. Flakes has a boost advantage here. He's got a good timing on the boost respawn in the midfield. Still keeping Azrael under wraps here in game number four. Flakes 3-1 up, and that's a very similar goal to the second one we saw for Flakes. Azrael trying to dribble the ball back into his own half, but he doesn't hit the ball hard enough. That just gives Flakes the free shot. A rare kickoff win for Flakes. Can he make it 4-1? He's going to try with a flick, but it's straight down the middle at Azrael. Not a bad outcome, though, for Flakes. He can waste a good bit of time here. Try and frustrate Azrael, maybe catch him over at extending. Does tend to happen more often when Azrael's losing by a few goals or more. Feels desperation and starts to go for shots that perhaps he shouldn't. Pinches haven't been on point for Azrael today. They've been close, but not close enough. And Flakes is keeping him backed up here with quality shooting. Unlikely to go past the goalkeeper like Astral, but still wasting some time. Now look at the clock. There's almost half the game gone. Flakes still ahead by two goals. That might be about to change. Astral turns quickly, but so does Flakes. Boost seal for Astral. He wants to catch Flakes out of the near post here. Bumps him out of the way. Once again, Astral's ball control is out of this world. Every touch here had to be perfect. There's one. And then he lifts it a couple of times and just squashes Flakes into the goal. Or else Flakes would have had a save on that. You can never keep him out forever. That's the danger for Flakes. Two goal lead. Well, you better be scoring at some point because you can guarantee before the end of the game, Astral is going to score a few times. Still in the lead by one. Flakes waiting for the opening. There it is. He flicks it past Astral, but he has to do it again quickly, and he can't get the acceleration he needed. Astral always recovering immediately after missing a challenge. Even flying down into position, and now into the air. No bump connecting this time. That's a poor landing for Astral. Rare to see, but it does happen occasionally, and that's going to allow Flakes full boost on the counter-attack. His flick is slow. Astral saves it with relative ease. Plenty of boost for Azrael in his next offensive play. He's switching up to air dribble bumps here, but Flakes is retaliating with some brilliant shadow defense. That's a couple now that he's saved. Hanging on to the one goal lead. Top corner. Not the destination of this flick. Instead, it's a crossbar. And Flakes really keep Azrael to just two goals in a game. You'd really not expect to see that in any of his matchups against anybody these days. Flakes is keeping the ball in safe locations. Whenever Astral does have it, he's trying to apply maximum pressure. Astral still focusing on air dribbles, and now he finds a way through. But not the air dribble bump this time. He goes straight over Flakes. 
for the direct air dribble. And see Flakes there faking a jump. He wanted Ezreal to fly right over his head, missing a bump, and then he could go into the air for the save. Astral switches things up after two unsuccessful air dribble bumps. Catches Flakes off guard with an air dribble. Now Flakes slammed out the goal by a demo. He spawns right behind the ball, and Astral's ahead by one. Flakes here just not reading Astral. That's two plays in a row where Astral has surprised him. First with an air dribble, now with a drive-by demo. Flakes was expecting a 50-50. He was happy to sit behind the ball, but Astral had his eyes on the kill. And now he's got his eyes on a two-goal lead. Flakes comes away with it. That's a good power shot. That's for all. Flakes right back in it. Clinical counterattack. Great ability to not get faked off that challenge. Flakes needed multiple touches on that 50-50. He got two. That's why he's come away with the ball. He has to be careful here, though. Azrael ball chasing. Flakes might not reach that. 5-4. Flakes just did not see this coming. He thought he could reach the boost and beat Astral to the ball, but it's simply not the case with the ball bouncing in field like that. 33 seconds left. Flakes on the brink of losing a series here. Astral would go up to two wins in the league if he can continue to play like this. Flakes saves a shot. Crucial stop in defense there, but he needs to get control of the ball. And Astral is just not going to give it to him easily. More time being wasted. Now an opportunity for Flakes. He brings it down, but Astral's right there in his face. Flakes still able to garner one more opportunity. Surely he's going to go all in here for some kind of air dribble. He couldn't let that ball drop. He wanted more, one more bounce, but he realized it was going to hit the ground on zero. And that's just going to be the game. Flakes not willing to go all in for the air dribble on zero seconds. Loses the series 3-1. to one. Another close game, and another tense game ending, and Astral confirms his win today. For Flakes, all the difference towards the end of the game was in a few miscalculations. Well played to everyone, even to you lot at home. We have a swap in positions today. Astral's not quite perfect win sees him settle in a game win behind Ocalid in a rise to secure second place, for now. Flakes' loss today brings him to a neutral game win loss, with his previous victory putting him in a fourth place tie. Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for Manscaped purchases, to earn E20, which will give you a 20% discount. Join us tomorrow, and let me tell you who to expect to play. Ixo and Fairy Peak face off. It's nice to know in advance, isn't it? Thanks for watching today's series. This is the EU Salt Mine, be kind to each other, I am your host, friend, and biggest fan, Brian.